first inspired you to start painting? I don't think I really had a choice. I think at the end of the day, painting found me. Um, I was doing a lot of other things at the time. I was on the wrong train, so to speak. I was uh, in finance. And I think the voices inside eventually got louder than the voices outside. Thousands of ideas in my head. I think the next painting I usually paint is the one that happens to be at the head of the queue at that time. Nineteen seventy one was the year I was born. And I think the reason I painted that is I think it's important to understand your ideologies and your philosophies, beliefs in the context of the time period which you grew up in. I grew up in Atlanta um, during the Civil Rights Movement and so in studying 1971, um, it kind of took me back to my childhood. Uh, the piece is done in the style of 71, the centerpiece for the painting is that in 71, the Supreme Court ruled the busing of blacks into white schools or white suburban schools was constitutional and mandatory. There are 71 things from 71 in this piece. If you look closely at it, the top of the bus has been taken off and all of the windows and the aisles um, contain things that happened in 1971. It's a special piece to make. Why deconstructing Hollywood? The reason I, you know, I don't think I actually planned for that to be the current show I was doing. Um, I decided to, for the first time in my life, take a break and from my life and focus solely on painting. Kind of sequester myself. Um, I chose LA and Hollywood because San Francisco doesn't really have a summer. I haven't had one in 10 years, and I just wanted to immerse myself in the energy of a different environment. So the show ended up being about the things that I experienced while I was there, and I think it's evident in the colors that I chose and the subject matter how influential environment is in the pieces that you end up doing. The reason I paint is because nothing else comes close to the feeling I have when I'm painting. Um, it's better than anything I've ever done. It's better than sex, it's better than drugs, it's better than compliments, it's better than anything. It is absolute 1000% being present in a moment of complete clarity. And a friend of mine described it as finding your flow. <clears throat> and it is when the world melts away and you're doing nothing but creating something in your mind that is crystal clear, high depth, 35 millimeter, whatever, Polaroid looking, amazing, amazing stuff. And all you want to do is try to get some of that that's in your head out on one of these canvases so someone else can participate and you don't spend the entire life being completely alone in it. 